the Joe Rogan experience. I want to I, I want to know how the divorce laws came to be. I do. I want to know. I, I somebody must have written a book on it. I just want to know how we got to this place where. Um, you know, first of all, this idea that you have to live in the style of which you've become accustomed. I can help you here. I can okay. help you a co- couple, couple ways. Here's the big one. Lawyers make a lot of money if there's a large settlement. So it's lawyers. Yes. Lawyers don't make a lot of money if there's no settlement. You know, Phil Hartman, when he was getting divorced, one of the things that he said to me, I go, dude, just fucking give her half. Come on, man. You make a lot of money. He goes, it's not half. He was crazed. He's like, it's two thirds. He goes, the fucking lawyers get a third. It's a goddamn exactly. scam. And I've had friends that have gotten divorced, and even though they were, they had come to an agreement with the, the ex, like, let's listen with this, this, and you'll get this, and I'll get this, fine. Then the lawyers jump in, he's trying to fuck you, and this and that, they're trying to fuck you over, that's, you deserve more. That's exactly and, the plot of and, the movie Marriage, have you seen Marriage no, Story? No, I haven't. Oh, no. it's terrific. I was, again, it at the beginning because it was about an actress and a theater director. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, can't you th- at least pretend that there are people in America not outside of your exact circle? There have been so many big movies, you know, that are just about your right. world of show business. Have a little creativity. Make them something else. But okay, I got over that. And then it's just a terrific movie about – there's no bells and whistles. It's just we're married. We seem very happy. And then, well, we're not happy. And we're going to get divorced, and then um, we're going to let's just do it amicably and not get lawyers involved, and then it all falls apart. And once it goes down that path that you're talking about, it just becomes as vicious as anything. Yeah, without guns. Well, I had a friend who got divorced, and no, no family. Okay, no children. They didn't have children, and uh, it dragged on for more than I think almost three years. And even though they had come yeah. to some kind of sort of conclusion, he was paying for his wife's lawyer. I go, it's that's, like you're paying for the general of the army that's trying to kill you. You're paying for someone to fuck you in the ass. Yeah. You're getting fucked in the ass. It broke him. It, you you can feel it. I have see, seen so many body. men <gasps> broken by Devastated. It. Every time somebody says, uh, you know, they people unfortunately get a horrible disease like cancer and they say, I couldn't have gotten through it without my wife. I always think, yeah, and maybe she gave it to you. <laughs> I don't mean, of course, literally, but I just mean that when you're the in a stress. bad relationship, yeah. the stress, yeah. uh, we don't know what contributes all the things to cancer, but uh, that certainly is, I'm sure, one of them. And then going through a divorce like that, I've seen people, like, a, like you say, just broken. They get wrecked. And it's a system. The reason why the divorce laws are set up the way they're set up, people think, oh, we're protecting women. Horseshit. They're doing it so that they can extract the maximum amount of money out of the mail. That way, the lawyer gets the biggest chunk that they could possibly get. Most lawyers have a, they're working on a percentage basis. Right. Especially if a woman doesn't have as much money oh. or if she's, you know, the, the lawyer will come to her, look, we've got a deal here. We'll, we'll figure this out. Uh, don't pay me now. We're going to make sure we get, right. get you the most. We'll, we'll take care of it all in the end. And this is what has happened to several of my friends that have been divorced. And you know what it is once you see it. What I get and I understand and I accept and I uh, I support is child support. I mean, I've I grew up with a deadbeat dad. My dad never paid for shit, and I have many friends that have also experienced a lot of financial hardship growing up because their dad was a piece of shit and and didn't want to pay for their children. But pe- people very close to me, including my wife. But when there's a big difference between that. A man taking responsibility for his children. There's a big difference between that and alimony. Alimony is creepy. There's something creepy about, like, my friend, like I said, didn't even have uh, a child with this woman. He is still paying her, by the way. This is the same guy. Very good friend of mine. Has been divorced for 14 years. Has been married for 12 to a new woman. Still paying the old woman. And my joke was like, you fucked her so hard she can't work. Right. Like she literally can't work because he, he's a wealthy man. He made good money and he works really hard. He's, a, he's, he's not in the business. He's a, he, he, you know, he has a real job and he works you know, long fucking hours every oh, day and I, he has his own business. And he has to pay hundreds I, of thousands of dollars to someone he doesn't even talk to anymore guys because to he jail. used to fuck her. Guys could yeah. j- I, I, I knew of a guy 
It was a doctor who <laughs> went to jail every night because he couldn't make the payments. Oh, God. And they would, like, let him out on weekends to do rounds and stuff. But he was – it's – I got uh, a better one for you. Want to get any crazy? Yeah. Hit um, me. Dave Foley, who's on news radio, yeah, with sure. Me, Dave when Foley. he was uh, getting divorced, was when he was on news radio. So it was at a, ver- a financial peak. You know, he was the star of the show. He's making a lot of money, right? And so his oh, s- yeah. his payments get to that. were yeah. set up for that. Sure. So this is in Canada, right? right. Oh. And he, the judge tells him. He, he tells the judge, I don't make that kind of money anymore. That was an extraordinary right. time in my life. It's very hard to make that kind of money. You know, I'm an actor. I just, the doctor, the judge rather says, your ability to pay has no relation to your obligation to pay. Wow. Think of that. Just pause here for a moment. What a statement. You're, and where else would we say that? It's insane. And we're it's- talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands, like as if he's supposed to conjure this up, like his career is supposed to magically resurrect itself in some really and it financially is, and viable way. And since it way. is usually the man still who probably has the more money and is paying the woman, Yes, it's very anachronistic to how we have come to think about women as equal and strong and able to do everything we can do. But when it comes to this, it's like, oh, we got to take care of them. Well, I don't, <laughs> they're suddenly I, they're, they're, again, it's like, they're very dependent. I think it's a scam that's set up because the men in general are in control of the finances yeah. or make more money and they can extract more money from them that way. I don't see a lot of people way. turning it down. Yeah, I mean, that's that's why the system, I think, is set up the way it's set up. It's, it's dark, man. I mean, the only time... It's happened the other way that I know of is Tom Arnold. Tom yes. Arnold oh, got does, away clean. Sure, yes, it does. It does happen <laughs> he, he's the other one, way. He's yeah. one for the males. Right. We got one on the board. There's like if the board was like here, if it was it would be a fucking billion scratches on one side and four lines and the one through See, it, that, and then next to it is like Tom Arnold. That's why I, I never like un- a couple of the dudes never understood the concept of marriage because. When people would say, why don't you want to get married? I'd say, why would I invite the federal and state government into my love life? It's very important. What you, ha- you have to have it. You, otherwise, it's not real. If you don't get a, a signed piece of paper, wow. what the fuck do you have? Just your feelings for that other person? Not good enough. How wow. should I tell her friends? She's got to tell her friends that he well, really you've, cares. You've been brainwashed by... No, he really cares. You, <laughs> you think I'm serious? I can see she's trained you to you say the right answer. Well, I, I think that's, that's a how crazy... Scary, that's how I think that's a crazy backward way to look at it, that without the piece of paper, it's not real. It's not real. Whatever you have with this, someone emotionally, uh, that's what's real. The paper is what's fake. The you pap- shouldn't be worried about divorce because we're never getting divorced. Oh, so I'm not worried about you. I don't know what the you. fuck you're doing. Like, why Why you're getting so upset about this, Bill? Just sign the paper oh. and get married. We're going to be together forever. I don't know what you're worried about. Jesus Christ, you're, you're freaking out about Don't you love me? You're freaking out about a divorce? We're not getting divorced. We love each other. God, sign it. Sign it. And then when you sign it, the darkness, clouds roll over. Ha, 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 ha. But also, like humans change. It's like we. It's so, it's so funny when you're. You could say about anything else. Oh, I'm not married to it. You know. Do you want that thing there? Oh, I'm not married to it. But with a human, the thing that's most malleable, <laughs> we're like, uh, yep, I'm going to marry it. Well, they, but did, you know, it, but for some people, it works fantastically. I think in some countries I they total- actually have term limits. They actually have uh, marriage terms. I like, don't think that's a real thing. But I think I, it I, is. Really? Go, go, yeah, Google it. Some countries have like a term. We did this before, right? Yeah, it's real. Some countries have like you could get married for like and seven years. Oh, I see. And then you, you can have, have to like re-up. a seven year. Yeah, and you can decide at the end of it. You're like, look, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Right. Yeah. Well, but that's putting a level of logic into it that's probably not going to really obtain when the moment comes because well, by that important. time you're so codependent. Girls are not going to tolerate that. They're going. Let me right. let me ask you this: How long right. you been with Bill? <laughs> You've been with, and he wants a fucking term limit? Right. My God, you guys are going to be together forever. <laughs> what are you doing with the fucking term limit? Because right. like, if you stuck with Dave, I bet Dave wouldn't ask for Right. That. Dave's not like that. Like, Dave might be just a little boring. Maybe he's not as funny. But he's a fucking solid guy, and you would have signed the contract. You'd be fine, girl. You'd it's be like, fine. It's like when agents are yeah. competing Oof. to sign you, and they're like, you didn't read for that? Oh, I could have well, gotten you As soon as there's that. a financial incentive with anything, things get squirrely. That's you know? what I'm saying. Yeah. But 
it also, you know, I remember you, it's funny you mentioned Tom Arnold. I had him on the very first episode of Politically Incorrect, I think with Roseanne. And they were talking about marriage. And he said, the great thing about marriage is uh, when you have a big fight and somebody says, I'm leaving, you can go, you can't, we're married. And I got what he was saying. Some people like that, that you have this yeah. this self-imposed barrier that- Makes um, it more difficult. It, it's like a waiting period with guns. <laughs> you know, or when they make you look at the sonogram when you want an abortion in some states, look at your fucking baby right. on the computer screen there and tell him, come back tomorrow and tell me you want to kill that kid. You right. know, you have a waiting period. You have to cool off. You can't just leave. Whereas right. if you're not married, you can. Right. Unless you live together, that's more complicated or kids are more complicated. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 